Hey there, wonderful you. In this video, I'm going to share with you nine tips that I have found really, really helpful on my way of becoming vegan. First tip. Focus on doing instead of non-doing. So instead of focusing on, I should not eat any cheese, I should not eat that milk chocolate, I am not allowed anymore to eat that butter cookie, or whatever it is. Instead of all of that, see if you can focus your thoughts, mostly, and I'm not saying it's wrong if you have any other thoughts, just see if you can mostly focus on veganism as an addition to your life. So you're going to try something completely new. It's called veganism and it means eating a completely plant-based diet. So if you focus on it that way, you focus less on denying yourself things that you used to do and you're focusing on a vision, a vision of something new that you would like to create in your life, which is a completely non-violent, uh, lifestyle, or at least within the realm of eating things, um, the, which is better for your health and for the planet um, regarding the climate change, and also for um, the animals that otherwise would have gotten hurt in the process of producing foods. So see it as something new and have that vision to focus on. Focus on what you want. Tip two, be kind to yourself. It's so important during the process of adopting a vegan lifestyle to be really kind to yourself. So if you are doing, if you're doing something that's not vegan, don't beat yourself up for it. You want to become vegan probably to um, make a positive change in the world for planets, your health, animals. Um, if you're beating yourself up for eating something non-vegan at some point, then you're not making a positive change by beating yourself up. You're making a negative change because you're beating yourself up. You want to be nice to the planet and to the animals and to your body. Well, be nice to your mind and your heart as well. So you don't see that you don't have to be vegan. And you also don't have to eat that cheese pizza. And in whatever case, whatever you do, don't let your self-love suffer. Don't let your self-worth suffer. Always remain kind to yourself. Tip three is let yourself be grossed out. <laughs> if you really start thinking about what cheese is, for example, you, would you still want to eat it? <laughs> cheese is, you know, the mother milk of a cow, not meant for you, meant for the calf. And um, you know, the way it's being processed, if you would really look into that kind of things, and especially if it's cheese, like, um, <laughs> and especially meat is so easy to be grossed out with, by, um, because it's a dead corpse of an animal that you are going to chew on. Ew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So find that spot of being grossed out. I experienced this myself very nicely when I got into India and the people there in the Ayurvedic science, they do all these things with ghee and ghee is like purified butter. So um, it's really dense butter and they use this to massage with and also just as an Ayurvedic treatment, they would drink, I have heard like, for example, a whole liter in a day of just butter. Ooh, isn't that gross? So um, 
open your awareness to see how gross it actually is to be using and eating animal products. Tip four, inform yourself. You've probably heard this tip before. This one is an easy one. If you want to have more motivation to have that vegan diet, then it will help you to watch some documentaries on, for example, um, what effect meat eating and dairy eating has on the climate of the planet, which is huge. Or you might want to watch some videos on what is actually happening within um, the dairy industry. How do cows get treated? Or what does a slaughterhouse look like? What do the sounds uh, sound like in a slaughterhouse? Or maybe you're eating still organic dairy, like I did some, some time ago. And even then, it's helpful to research a bit on how do organic animals get treated. It's really easy to say, oh, well, I'm eating something organic, so the animals got treated well. No, no, it doesn't mean the animals got treated well. Research it. I'm going to share with you some great links to nice documentaries in the comments. No, not in the comments, I'm sorry, in the description box. Uh, so if you want to watch some nice informative documentaries or speeches on the topic that will help your motivation. Tip five, indulge in what you can eat. So if you have a little bit of an emotional relationship with food, like actually most people, <laughs> um, then you might wanna, you might, you might have the hardest moment in sticking with a vegan diet when you're really craving some milk chocolate or some cake or you know whatever it is for you specifically and um, you can indulge in vegan foods it's not like a vegan diet has to be healthy i would encourage you to have a healthy diet of course um, but if you're not there yet set your priorities if you want to become vegan and that's your priority and you also want to be healthy, um, you might try both at the same time and if you can, do so. But if you feel like you can't, make sure what your priorities are. And if your priority is eating vegan first and then making your vegan diet healthier and healthier, you can. So there are, there are enough vegan foods which are not accepted not especially healthy, but full of the things you're addicted to, like sugar, fat, salt. <laughs> I mean, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking also about myself, and just many people in this society have these kind of addictions. So I'm just saying, if you're worried about that in becoming vegan, you don't have to, because you can eat, you know, fried potatoes, or you can eat rice chocolate, um, you can switch also to a little bit healthier things like maybe raw chocolate um, or you can switch to lots of dried fruits in your diet. You can also very well have strawberries as your new candies. Um, but there are also, you know, other vegan things like Oreos. <laughs> and there are also vegan pizzas. And when I went to Portland, in Oregon, in America, and there were so many vegan shops and um, restaurant, restaurants there that I learned that actually anything can be made vegan. You might be, you might find there completely vegan Italian pizza, uh, pizzerias or completely vegan bakeries, all gluten-free, you know? <laughs> so it's so possible to still have your emotional relationship with food while being vegan and of course it's nicer to work through it and find a healthy lifestyle but set your priorities and get vegan first i mean it's up to you to set that priority this is what i did and it served me well tip six go to some vegan mecca places 
<laughs> so I just mentioned Portland and that's actually where I was about a year ago and a friend there um, he called Portland the vegan mecca of the United States and I agree there were more vegan restaurants than I was able to visit in the month I was there wow <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah, some other vegan mecca places in this world. Um, I found Auroville. That's actually the place where I uh, finally had my diet become completely vegan. And there were some really nice vegan restaurants. And everyone knows there what veganism is. You don't have to explain. You can very easily um, have all your dishes made vegan if you're there. And... Um, yeah, it was for me a really good place to meet other vegan people and to become vegan. Another vegan mecca place, if you like Thailand, can be Koh Phangan. Um, I'll put those places, by the way, the names of the place in the description box if you want to review it later. Oh yes, one other vegan mecca place, also in Asia, is Ubud. Ubud is on Bali and it's really great for a healthy vegan lifestyle. There are many restaurants there that, that really know how to make, you know, uh, gluten-free, raw, vegan, tasty dishes. So it's so inspiring to be in a place where you can notice that veganism can be tasty and healthy and easy and there can be so much variety. So if you want to go on a holiday to Asia anyway, why not book it to Ubud or to Auroville or to Koh Phangan? Or if you live in the United States, have a visit to Portland. And there, there must be many more places, but these are just the ones I've been to and I'm aware of. Tip seven, find vegan friends. Yeah, that's great. Having vegan friends has been really helpful in my journey and I'm sure it's the same for you. Um, how to find vegan friends if you don't have any? Um, you can see on Facebook if there's some vegan group in your town. Um, or maybe there's a, a vegan restaurant and you can meet people when you go there. A vegan cafe maybe. Um, in Holland... In the place where I am now, we even have a vegan supermarket. So that can be a, a great place to start informing, like where to, where you might be able to meet up with some vegan people. And it's nice that, you know, if they're vegan, you probably have a lot in common already because they are in a certain way conscious living people caring about things like animals, planet, health. So you might like to become friends with some vegans. You can also find vegans through, for example, um, OkCupid, which is a website that matches you to people. And it's not only dating, it's also friendships. And if you find some vegan people, you can start to cook together and that will really, you know, make it real for you that it's so possible to have a completely vegan lifestyle and it doesn't need to be hard because other people you know are doing it too. Tip eight. There are apps for your phone that will help you to create new habits in your life. The one I'm using is Habit Loop. It's a free app you can find in the Play Store and you can put in what habits you want to create in your life and every day you can fill in whether you nailed it or not, right? So um, I use this also for getting into the habit of practicing yoga every day, for example. And it's been really helpful. I, I'll put the link in the description box of this. And it makes it a little bit of a game, you know, a game element of if I do it right, I can put in my phone that I did it right. <laughs> it's just nice. <laughs> And lastly, tip nine, you can also go step by step. So all the other tips might enable you to become vegan today, which would be great. But if you feel like you can't yet, then you might also um, make an analysis of, of what is the easiest thing I can do 
I can change permanently today. So for example, it took me actually five years to go from vegetarian to vegan, which is a long time, I find. But hey, I didn't have these tips I just shared with you yet. <laughs> um, so what I did, I first quit all milk. And instead of buying milk, I only bought soy milk. And now I don't do soy milk anymore. I, I think it's unhealthy. But you can also replace all milk by almond milk. Um, then I stopped buying eggs. I just I just started to find other things to put on my bread in the morning, you know. Um, and I, then I replaced all uh, butter with vegan butter. That's actually in many stores nowadays. So in this way, you can keep replacing little things. Uh, maybe you can go from eating milk chocolate to eating more pure chocolate, which is more healthy anyway. And that's vegan. So if you can go step by step in this way, or maybe you have a hard time eating vegan when you go out of your house, but you have an easy, easy time cooking vegan dishes, then you can start with that. So going step by step, if that's what you need, is a great way to go vegan easy. Yeah, and I can tell from my experience right now that if you have been able to become vegan, maybe by using the tips I just shared with you, it feels so great in your heart. Because if you already know that becoming vegan is the way for you to live a ethical lifestyle, then your heart will not be um, at peace until you have, you know, made the change. And when you have made a change, to me it felt like my heart can finally breathe. So I wish that for you too. <laughs> yeah, I made another video about overcoming obstacles to veganism. Um, so they're about what to do when you have people in your environment that are like opposition <laughs> to your new change. Or um, what can you do to be sure you're taking good care of your health while making transitions in your diet? Um, and yeah, so it's also about what can you eat? If you don't know what to eat on a vegan diet, that can be an obstacle as well. So that's what that video is about. You might want to watch it too. And I wish you a lot of fun and good luck with your journey to becoming vegan. I would love you to share in the comments below if you have other tips and also if you have any questions for me. All right, mm, have a nice day.